Hello, so lights. It's great to connect with you again. Uh, I want to thank all of you that joined Patreon recently. Welcome. And uh, those of you that have been connecting with me also on Instagram, welcome. And thanks for connecting further. It really touches my heart so much. Oh, connecting here with all of you. If you happen to be new to this channel, welcome. I hope you find some insight, understanding, and some guidance, perhaps even some answers to your questions. Um, my name is Michelle, and I'm here doing what I love doing. So for this reading, we're going to be tuning in and seeing what is most important for you to know right now. There is a lot of energetic shifting. I've talked about it a lot on my Patreon, um, Soul Awakening community there uh, so you can get information there also in some of the previous readings that I have done here on soul insights and tarot um, so if you want to know more energetically what's going on beyond how it's affecting you personally I usually do a um, deeper dive in into the collective and universal energies at the beginning of the reading right after the intro and right before a closer look at the cards um, but if you want to just skip to the timestamps, you can always do that. Um, you're more than welcome to, and I sometimes do that myself. Sometimes I just don't want to hear anything else. Just get me to the reading. I totally get it. All right, so I am going to do a mini tune-in meditation. You're welcome to stay with that, or you can skip to the timestamps. This is going to be soul story number one, which is the amethyst, the amethyst point. Soul story number two, which is the tiger's eye point. And soul story number three, soja light. All right, so one, two, and three. You can skip ahead if you want to. Otherwise, if you are staying here with me, let's see, let us, hmm, let's take a couple deep grounding breaths in. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. A nice and slow it down a little in your own pace and pattern breathe in lightly and easily for a count of three pause for a count of three and then breathe all the way out for a count of six yeah long out breath. Breathing in for a count of three, pausing for a count of three, and breathing all the way out for a count of six. In your own pace and pattern, breathing in for a count of three, pausing for a count of three, and breathing all the way out for a count of six. And then breathe in lightly and easily for a count of one, slightly pause, and breathe all the way out for a count of one. Now, if your eyes are closed, let your inner gaze, your inner focus be on your in-breath and out-breath and center there. Take a slightly deeper breath in and a slightly longer breath out and really come into the body, into the soul's instrument, the vehicle of light expression through animating energies on this earth plane. Relax into your body, knowing you are safe to experience and express. Bring your awareness into that space in between your in-breath and out-breath and center there. Now you might feel a tingling or opening sensation in the heart chakra. We are connecting heart to heart and soul to soul. So, I will pause the video here. You can get a closer look at the cards or tune in further if you'd like to. Remember to always trust your intuition. These are general readings. Take what works for you. I, many times I'm drawn to more than one stack, one soul story, usually two, sometimes three. 
So trust your intuition and choose the card or cards and the crystal or stone that chooses you, you'll feel an energy radiating out, which is really you choosing the card because you set this up through synchronicity guided by your higher self and soul. You are guided here for your message or messages for your insight, no matter what it is. Maybe it's just the meditation. Maybe it's not the meditation. Maybe it's a crystal, a memory. I don't know. But trust your own inner knowing and inner guidance and choose the card or cards or crystal that choose you by the magnetic energy that comes from you radiating out or mirroring back, bouncing back off from the cards to you. I will see you in the readings. Hello, so light. So, hmm, I went to get my yerba mate and I heard a little bit about me. I feel you're going to be meeting some new people. So, let's see. Hmm, I forgot to take the tea bag out. Let's see what's coming up for you. First of all, you got the amethyst, so you're definitely being divinely guided. There's some inner guidance that's happening. And I also feel more light. You could probably feel things are lightening up for you to some degree in some way. Something is lightening up. And also a bit about me. You're gonna be sharing about yourself. Okay, let's look at the chakra. Oh, heart. Wow, love. I didn't look at these cards at all. The guides were telling me this is a surprise. When I was working with the guides in the Oversouls this morning, I was looking at different readings I wanna do. And then I was getting my yerba mate. I got the message. There's important information. So heart chakra, something or someone is activating the heart chakra. But I feel you're going to be meeting someone new. So I don't know what kind of relationship this is. It's going to be some, definitely someone or something that you love a lot in your life. <clears throat> oh my God, look at that. Whoa, I'm almost going to cry. So story number one. Wow. And it's a 41.5. You have reached a level of inner stability in your life. Something's changed within you and you have this incredible confidence, but you're branching out on something on your own path and your own way of seeing things. But a 41 distills to a five, which brings in new influences, projects, collaborative relationships, but also dating and romantic relationships. So I'm going to just say, if you are not partnered or with someone, what spirit wants you to know, and actually your own higher self is coming through. You've waited a long time. You're going to get to know each other little by little. Wow. You are coming in. First of all, you are attracting much more soulmate relationships kindred spirits, people that really get you. It's going to get more and more effortless to connect with people because they're really the right people for you on a soul level. And this is spiritually destined. This is a spiritual destiny issue. So this is a very spiritual relationship that's coming in for you. Now, if some of you just met someone, this could be the confirmation about this relationship. Or if you are in a relationship, this could be a deepening of a connection. But for many of you, because I heard, kept hearing, oh, a little bit about me, or tell me about yourself, or what about you, or this person's inquiring about you. Okay, let's see what else is coming up. So we've got soulmates in the middle. Money, discover the source of your true power. Cell phone. Polish your communication skills. See, you're meeting new people. I Okay, I'm getting a message. Hold on. There's a couple things coming up here. Whew, I'm so glad I did this reading for you. Wow. Okay. Oh, you got a lot of dream cards here. Home. Your residence, the soul residence. Yeah, you're coming. I'm going to put this up here. This is so important for you. So story number one. Okay. So... All right, let me not get ahead of myself. I'm getting so much information from you. And all these cards, you've got so many cards. Uh, guide, follow in the footstep, 
footprints of genius or greatness, but I feel that's you. That's your higher self leading you. You're meeting someone very powerful or potent, or there's an existing relationship, whether personal or collaborative, that you are very strong souls and you are stronger together than apart. There's something you've come in here to do and you may not even know it yet. If, you're, if you've already met this person, they may already sense it or they sense they have what you need and you have what they need. Somehow you're oblivious. Oh, look at this, church, temple, mosque. Rep recognize your spiritual authority. Okay, so, wow, this is so powerful. I've got to get my little pointer I love. So first of all, yes, you're going to be meeting new people. So you're going to be talking more about yourself. Hi, I'm so-and-so. I'd love to do this. I'd love to do that. I'm going to actually turn this. I don't like to see my shadow here. Even though I'm integrating the shadow and light. Okay. So, wow. Okay. Wow. No wonder the guides wanted me to do this reading or spirit. It just came through. Okay, first of all, you're on your path to destiny. If you had any question, you are meeting very important relationships, connections, whether personal, interpersonal, business, career, however you want to look at it. There are a few people around you that there's going to be deepening bonds, that you're going to be doing something very special in the world, special to you that is going to bring also an increase in, in money. So there is going to be more of a focus on money and increase and your value and your up leveling and that, but you're going to be needing new people to do this. So spirit saying it's really important that you understand this, that this is a time of you extending out into the world. Um, for some of you, if this resonates, and you are open to partnership, this is bringing in a very, very important partner for you. Okay, I'm gonna actually get up and put on a different light. Wow, okay, all of a sudden I feel like moving around. I hope you can hear me with this mic, with your reading. So some of you, this is also gonna bring some kind of travel. Um, okay, they're telling me it's actually also exploration. How's that? That's probably better. Yeah, so there's some level of exploration also for you. And also you're gonna feel like moving, moving around because you're gonna be meeting new people. So if you've been kind of solitary, or if you feel like your energy has been more stagnant or stuck, um, there is movement coming for, for you. And I, I kind of feel it like, look at all these. Each of these has an energy of movement other than the cell phone. But to me, this is about you revealing a deeper part of yourself. This is about you opening, coming more from the heart and opening up more intimacy in your connections, more truth, more, more realness. Okay. So, wow. Some of you are going to be teaching or singing, or I don't know if it's sound healing, sound energy, teaching, healing, maybe retreat, something in sacred sites or sacred centers. You're either going to be a part of this or doing this. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's look at anything with Osho. But I, I'm, I'm really struck by you've got the heart. The heart chakra is going to be activated, and that means doing more of what you love, loving what you're doing, and people, the people, whether you're working with them, playing with them, having fun with them, teaching them, you're really connecting into the essence of people. And I think this is so perfect with Pluto is in January is going to be going into Aquarius and that's all about people and communities. So, and right now I'm doing this reading, Venus is retrograde. Now this is a timeless reading, but I got to tell you, look at this, it, listen to your inner voice, creativity. Okay. I love when I get the messages go from the bottom lovers. All right. So for many of you, this absolutely, it has to do with trusting your intuition and being guided. This is why you have the, um, the amethyst here, but this is all about relationships. So whenever you're watching this reading, your life is going to become much more about relating and relationships, teaching, sharing groups, but I feel an intimacy. So if you're teaching 
There's going to be some level of self-exposure or intimacy, or you're working more intimately with people. Some of you also, there's something with food or baking or creating something, or maybe for friends, or you're going to do a retreat and cook. I, I, I'm getting something with a retreat, either going to a retreat. Now, you could meet this person or different people, definitely because you're you know, up-leveling more in life, um, and I mean there's more increase through people. I keep hearing people. It's all about the people. And let me tell you about me. Oh, what about you? I can hear this. Oh, my name is. So you've got inner voice, Pisces energy here with the high priestess, creativity. You've got uh, Taurus, Libra, which is ruled by Venus. Uh, Pisces here, Venus um, here, uh, and I'm doing this Venus return, and then the lovers, Gemini, Virgo. So this could also be, or Gemini energy rather, I don't know why I heard Virgo, but maybe some of you are Virgo. I have Virgo placements in my chart. So, uh, so definitely for some of you, out of creativity or creative project, following your intuition and being guided, you meet the right people at the right time. You're really in synchronistic timing right now. And some of you, you synchronistically meet a very important relationship, a soulmate relationship. And it's because it's divinely timed. The timing is now. Wow. Yeah, the timing is now. So your life, your life is about to it's going to be a slow opening though. I'm not getting like, you know, like, ah, there's so much going on. Let's see what the runes have to say. You never know what the runes have to say. Some of you, it's going to be something in the desert also, because I'm looking at my little desert rose here. Okay, yeah, things were slow. I've got eel reversed. So there was some things that were slowed. Wow, look at that, Jera. So expect some increase, new direction, new pathway, time of harvest, harvest, August, September, and it brings Burkano, it brings a breakthrough, it brings growth. Some of you want to have, get with the, with the Empress card here in Burkano, there could be birth, or some of you are working with birth or babies of some sort, or birth of a project, a birth of you. There could be a literal birth. You could be pregnant now or find out you're pregnant with that empress here. But most importantly, what I get is you've been changing so slowly and gradually. And then I'm feeling, again, I'm doing this reading now. It is timeless. However, if you're watching it at the time that I you know, publish and upload, which is in July, um, then August, September, there's some huge birth growth for you, things uh, breakthrough, something a lot better. So uh, Spirit is saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, some of you don't, do not be disheartened. The changes that you want are happening. The person is coming in. The relationship is coming in. The new direction is coming in. The new business is coming in brings in more money because you're recognizing your true power. Okay, any ending message? Oh my God, Gemini. Wow, Jupiter in Gemini. We got Jupy in Gemini in the 12th house. This is predestined. So there's a lot that's going to be happening in a way predestined for you. Okay, we're going to cover it in other readings. Um, what I think I'm going to do for this reading, actually, is I'm going, to, for my Patreon, I'm going to pick up the reading where left off, okay? Um, I think I will extend that because I am feeling like these could be longer and I wanted to just do short, tune in, guide people, and um, move through it. All right, Soul Light, your Soul Insights mantra for you is... Ooh, as I attune to my heart and connect to my soul, I am guided through divine right timing. Lots of love and light. Hello, Radiant Soul Light. This is soul story number two. And if you chose the tiger's eye, this is for you. I'm getting a lot of strength in this reading, fortitude, bouncing back. 
gaining a focus and new energy coming up okay so i'm also getting a lot to do with grounding so if you've been feeling ungrounded something's changing with that you've got oh unfinished symphony okay that's why the grounding and the focusing all right so i don't look at these cards ahead of time so it's a surprise to me so i'm getting you've got the focus now you're being more grounded to finish things up so what's important for you to know right now is you need to finish things up you need to complete before you go to the next level departed loved ones you'll your love more than you will ever know for some of you there was such a loss and this could be through a person or family members or a group of people that you haven't been the same for a while and that's changing you are um, some of you are medium some of you do connect with those on the other side whether animal being or human being or whatever you, you do connect and you have memories of other lifetimes that a lot of times for you what we call bleed through so you sometimes can be a little spacey okay we've got weeks celebrity shine I see what's coming up for you. What's important for you to know? The lottery. Bet on yourself. Okay, there's a lot that you want to do. Let's look at the, the brow. Look at that. Imagination. Tiger's eye has to do with third eye focus. Intention, intentionality, intentional living, focusing on what you want. So you, what is important for you, your spirit team, your spirit guides, God, spirit, the whole gang is here. My guy is saying you need to focus right now. There's things you need to do. There's things you need to, you've been thinking about, dreaming about. You need to take it off of the paper, off of the phone, iPad, tablet, and start doing it. So you are in a phase right now of completing cycles. Okay, there's, there's things that you need to finish up. Now, part of that, what you need to finish up is you need to put into motion some things that you have been dreaming about, because I'm getting a lot with the dream world or dream state with this. Now, they're also saying you're going to have a burst of energy and use it. This burst of energy and inspiration, they're telling me now, is going to cause you to want to focus on some things. You could greatly focus and, and get some things done, okay? So you have a lot of tasks that you need to do. Some of you are going to automate some things or you're going to get somebody that helps you is also what I'm hearing. This is because, now some of you, are you a channel also? Psychic channel, psychic medium, or do you work energetically and you feel people's energy? Some of you have recently had some kind of cleansing or clearing energetically. Maybe you felt that someone was draining your energy maybe psychically maybe you were had a psychic vampire kind of thing you know just a person draining your energy basically um, but I definitely feel that um, the lottery has to do with increase in finance that if you focus and finish up what you need to finish up you're gonna draw in more into your life now some of you this is purging getting rid of things but it's also when you finish what you need to finish or when you, you make it a priority, you're making yourself a priority. So your higher self is saying, look, you came here to do that. You're going to do what it is you really want to do. You need to start doing it, actually. A lot of you, look at with this. I love this with the, um, uh, not fractal, but with um, sea anemone. What is it? Oh, I have one here. This, these are very ancient symbols. So are you bringing a lot of ancient in wisdom or insight? Or you have a lot of wisdom. You actually have a lot to give or share. You just need to package it, I'm hearing, or put it in order. Put it in some kind of order. Start small, but put it in order. So a lot of you could have projects that you need to finish or some tasks, something, some things that you need to, um, that you need to finish. Ammonite. Yeah. So that's pretty powerful. Keep that there. Yeah, I'm not sure about you. Let's see. I, I get, I just get finish it up, finish it up, whatever it is, whatever the projects are, bring it to some kind of com 
uh, conclusions so it's not in your mind anymore. Some of you need to set aside time. Wow, that came right out. Set aside time during the day to finish things. Some of you are realizing you're better. Look at the innocence. So what is this opening that's happening for you? This is the world. But there's a little, is it a little grasshopper there? So there's a, there's a leap. There's, okay, the guides are saying they don't want you to miss this. And your higher self is saying, I know you don't want to do it, but it needs to get done. So whatever it is, it needs to get done. I'm going to put that there. What's this card that came out? Oh, wow. Look at that breakthrough. That one, And you saw that. That's why I love shuffling on, uh, on camera. Look, at there's a breakthrough. So something. Now, this is characteristically the Libra card. You've got innocence and breakthrough. I feel like that energy is there. Look at that. You bet on yourself. I feel like there's something that you just need to do that if you do it or when you do it, it's going to bring a, a breakthrough. It's going to bring, and we're going to see, you know, what is the breakthrough? What? Okay, clinging to the past, five of cups. That's interesting because so story number one got that. Turning in. Four of cups. Beyond illusion, 20, judgment. Okay, I can hear some people saying, Michelle, I've been doing as much as I can. I can't do I can't do it any faster. I can't no, I know, I get it. You are doing a lot. That's why you've been looking at your life, you've been observing, you've been contemplating, you you've really brought in an awareness of what needs to go, and that means also in your thinking. You know, I have a podcast, Awakenings with Michelle Mache. Uh, on uh, you can get it Spotify iTunes, wherever, you know, all uh, podcast platforms. And um, I had Chris Reck on uh, Minnow Pond. And I just, when I, I was looking at this, Chris's face flashed in my head. No stinking thinking. <laughs> oh, gosh. And I have, we, we're, we're tr transferring some of the, um, the audio podcasts to, um, YouTube, Awakenings with Michelle Mache. And I he, I think his two, he was on my podcast twice. And so I do believe his his um, conversations, his interviews, his Awakening Conversations interviews are on there. But I just got that. So there's something that was holding you back. And I want to say it could be generational within the family or a, a belief system that was passed on to you that you have finally isolated. Now, if you haven't done that, you are going to, and we're, we'll see, ex I'll get timing on that. You're about to have a breakthrough. If you haven't yet, this breakthrough is gonna cause you to just let things go. And I know that sounds kind of like fanciful thinking, but that's what I'm getting from this reading. And it just may be that you have the awareness you have your own awakening. You're going through this awakening. And then once you realize it, you get the spurt of energy. And that causes a breakthrough where you don't go back to that pattern. The creator. Why? Because you tap into that creator energy, the energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You are that creator. Wow. So... It's your, your, I just heard repurposing. This is a king of wands. This is all about projects, soul story number two. This is about job, career, projects, focusing on you. This could be even transforming a home, remodeling, building something, creating something. But really, for most of you, I feel that this is becoming an expert or becoming more in the forefront of whatever it is that you do. And you are going to have a breakthrough. You just need to finish a, a few things. There's a few things that you need to complete. And once you complete those, um, you 
have this breakthrough and, and you're probably you I don't know it's like you're reclaiming the creative aspect of your being okay let's see what we have here wow okay so story number one got that the rose breakthrough heart opening that's with the celebrity so you're show I think people are gonna start seeing you more for who you are what you do start fresh chickweed wow that's powerful for you soul story number two this unfinished business is going to allow you to start fresh you have a different dream a different vision now and i want to say i think it was your true vision all along you just didn't think you could achieve it or do it and it has to do with art creativity self-expression of some sort if, whatever field you're in it's about bringing some level of creativity or art it's about bringing passion. You're going to be aligning to doing something more passionately because you can't, you've been able to let this go. Whatever this past programming is, you are letting it go and it's creating this amazing breakthrough to a new level. But it's going to be require focus. And so with this egg of potential, it's blue. It, it's coming through peace. Here's blue here and calm it's coming through meditation and your guides back here so you have guides you're working with guides i think the oversouls are working with you or angels got whatever on the spirit realm god you're working with other dimensional aspects of you and other dimensional energies and guidance on the spirit plane all right we're going to look at the wounds we're going to look at the astro dying and then if you want a deeper dive i am going to do part two onto uh, Patreon. Yeah, look at this flow. You're very intuitive. This is about flowing with what you're going through, flowing through the chain in mankind, helping humanity. You came in with a purpose and this you have a lot of passion with this Othilla. Okay, so something was holding you back because Othilla has to do with inheritance. It has to do with Houses uh, could be insurance also, but it's usually something that's inherited. Um, sometimes bloodline, but when I say bloodline, I don't necessarily mean I mean humankind bloodline. It doesn't have to be oh, you know, is that my biological mother or father? It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with, with the culture or society. So there's something you're leaving from that, and it's going to bring in much more stability. So we need to get one other card. I don't like to look. Isa, what does it bring in for you? Okay, it brings in a resurgence. Iwas. So you are definitely here to help humanity, whatever that you do, or you're an expert in your field. This is about moving more into the creative aspect of what it is that you do. All right, let's get a Astro Dice. Yeah, third house projects, Mercury in Gemini in the third house. That's very, very telling. All right, Soul Light, your um, Soul Insights mantra is... Okay, first of all, I have a fresh start in life. I'm starting fresh, not over. Your higher self is saying, whoa, hold on, make sure they know that you're not starting over. You're having a fresh start, a new lease on life. So you're not starting over. Okay, so your Soul Insights mantra is, as what I complete, what I need to complete, I am open to new beginnings. Yeah. All right, lots of love and light, so light. Hello, Radiant Soul Light. If you chose Soul Story number three, this is your reading. You've got Soul Light, which brings in mental clarity, but inner peace and calm. It also is about calming the mind. And I heard peace and calm, peace and calm. I'm also getting a lot for you around water, the ocean. Maybe you're going to the ocean or you live near the ocean or beach, playing around water. Water is really, really good for you, very healing rejuvenates you and I am getting something I'm hearing the word play and I'm, I'm seeing like whoosh, splashing the water some of you near a waterfall you could be kayaking I'm getting with water sports um, there's some changes coming for you at the summer months so wherever you are let's see what you've got here blessed 
Okay. Blessed. I am a blessing. I just heard I am a blessing. Award. Accept your well-earned praise. And look at all that blue. Child, give yourself permission to play. And I was saying play. Bridge, stay strong and connected to what's important to you. And then you've got the chakra solar plexus, confidence. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, soul lights. Here's what I've been shown, and this is the feeling I'm getting. Like, you are not going back to where you used to be or what you thought. You've learned a lot. You've grown a lot. You have a lot of confidence. You know, this solar plexus chakra is also the area of the inner child. It's also called our Hara center, the power or empowerment center. And it's the, it's, it's the third phase or th function of processing information and receiving information through our somatic, somatic information or body wisdom or instinctual awareness. So we've got the solar plexus, the heart, and the brain all work together. Those major organs are processing. They take in information, process it. And so this is why when we feel people say things negatively or badly, speak badly about us or put us down, we, we feel it in the solar plexus. It attacks. And the solar plexus is your personality center. It's like we have the umbilical cord to the mother. The solar plexus is the is umbilical cord to earth. The upper chakra is the umbilical cord to the universe. So that solar plexus chakra is very important. It ties into the root. So as we're more confident, we feel more rooted in life. This is why you have a little bit of red or brown here. So when we feel safer, we feel more confident. Our inner child gets to be healed. So you've done a lot of healing on your inner child. And, and I do feel you're coming through a phase. Maybe you forgave someone or you forgave yourself or a group of people. I feel you're feeling more blessed. I feel you're bridging from the old to the new uh, to some degree, whatever that means. And you're starting to get some kind of acknowledgement for what you want. Or, or what you're doing in your life. Now this could be online, social media, internet, this could be something you sell or give away, this could be within a certain group or comfort company, this could be with your own family or family systems or friends. But that's because you've done a lot of inner child work. You've got the child here and you've healed a lot of wounding. So you're really opening up. So whatever it is that you wanna focus on, I feel you, you're, uh, radiating this peace and calm, this certainty. You're radiating peace and calm and certainty um, on your path at this time. And I also am hearing that you're feeling blessed, but there's more blessings coming to you. Now, I'm getting the message also that to lighten up or play more, get out there, play more, enjoy life more, do more of what you want. So some of you could have reached a level of maybe in finances or career, or maybe you scaled down, whatever you did, you do. I'm hearing don't stress it so much. Don't over worry. You know, you have enough. You have more than enough. There's abundance. So you have enough. Now, you, do you want more? Well, these cards just came out. So I always, those of you that know me, okay, we've got adventure. Are you going on an adventure? Three of Wands. So something, some kind of, a, this is the bridge. This new life with you is an adventure. Let's see what's coming up. Compromise. Six of Pentacles. Did I say Wands? Sorry, Three of Pentacles. Success. Yeah, look at that. Okay, under the award, there is success coming to you. Now, Six of Wands, that, that's this card here, success, also has, to, it's, it's about success, it's about validation, victory, but it's also about faith. So you've had to have some level of faith. That's why I feel like as you're connecting into your blessings now, and this has been a natural process for you, this card number is 44, so it's, it's a master number. You're building something new, you have a stronger foundation within you. 
And so that's radiating out. Now the universe can build. You can draw in to build. You didn't have a strong enough foundation. It's two of swords. And of course, that brings in the sojalite awareness. The awareness of awareness. That is the chariot moving forward. But when we're connecting in through the chariot, that's co connecting in through our higher self, we become more aware, slowing down, yeah, taking time to slow down. Well, look at all the green there. So you're in a healing phase, whether the body, uh, with that solar plexus, there could have been challenges within the, the body, maybe even the stomach, solar plexus. Could have been some anxiety, and then we have flowering here. Queen of Pentacles. So we've got that slowing down energy, that Knight of Pentacles, we've got the flowering, we've got, um, there's a lot of pentacles, so this is telling me and some wands, but it's also telling me that um, so it has to do a lot with your body. So you're probably in healing something in your body. You're feeling better in the body or you're going to. But you're learning that you can't overgive. So you're really going to be looking at relationships right now, and it's really important. Uh, the guidance is saying that you need to look and see if you're overgiving or people are overtaking. And even with this schizophrenia here, Two of Swords, it's all about balance, give and take. So you're recognizing your blessings, whether friends or family or life circumstances, job, career, whatever it is, your health, you know, health is wealth. There's something flowering in your life. You're rejuvenating, you're recuperating. So you, there's a lot of recuperation that's taking place. Okay, let's see here. I'd like to know what you're recuperating. You're recuperating your health for a lot of you. You're recuperating. Your mind, your mindset has changed. Look at that, when I said mind. Page of Swords. So you're cutting through a lot of doubt. Maybe fear and doubt. Cutting through a lot of fear and doubt and bringing balance and, you know, mental, emotional balance. For some of you, it's just the mental, the mental body of worrying and what ifs. And you're starting to see things differently. And I do feel with this awareness and the two of swords here that you've, you've maybe let go of something or some idea or perception. You're feeling more empowered and more in control in a healthy, positive way. Distill yourself, time. Well, I got trust yourself. So I think you're starting to see the many facets of you is what I'm being shown, that there's all these different facets that lead to the true you, the soul. These are just different areas of your life. And somehow you're bringing those into balance. And, and by bringing them into balance, it brings you a level of success. So there is a certain level of success that you have not achieved that you're about to achieve. And it's coming from confidence. And as soon as I said that, I looked at that tear or Tiwaz, Mars energy, the warrior moving forward, Laguz using your intuition. So you could have been more timid in what you know, and wow, strength. The ox, your, your oz or your, and then we have manas, mankind, people. So let's see. Well, that's that award, and so you're reaching people, or people starting to finally see you, or see what you're about, or get you, or understand you. Or you're finding your group, your community, your tribe, whether online or in person or both. 
um, there's going to be new openings and new opportunities for you. Okay, let's get last message. All right, look at that Aries. Wow, and that's tear is Aries. This is powerful. Uranus and Aries, so new direction, new opportunity, new, very forceful in the career, your path to destiny. So you've been going through some kind of testing period or learning period. All right, so light, um, your soul insights mantra to support you on your path is... Ooh, I'm aligning with the true energy of me to create the true path and purpose for me. Wow. And for some of you, in gratitude, I receive my blessings. So the second half of this, I am going to do an extended for this. Um, I just got a message to do that. We'll be on my Patreon, uh, the Soul Path Community um, tier, if that's something that you're interested in doing. All right, much love and light. <laughs>